Excellency, President Azalea Sumani, Chairperson of the African Union, Excellencies, Heads of State and Government, Excellency Musa Faki Mahamad, Chairperson of the African Union Commission, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Excellencies, in the interest of uh, time and with the Chair's permission, I now report to you on all three of my mandates, namely institutional reform, domestic financing, and the outer NEPAD. I wish to highlight some key points from the full reports, which have been submitted by the Commission for your consideration. First, on the institutional reform of the African Union, the vast majority has been successfully completed since 2018 and the commitment of Chairperson Musa Faki has been exemplary. However, three items remain incomplete, despite assembly directives in 2021 and again in 2022. One, the division of labor between the Commission and regional economic communities. Two, strengthening the working methods of the Peace and Security Council. And three, the review of the mandates of the African Union organs and agencies. There is no clear explanation for these repeated delays and therefore this uh, will probably require us to make some decisions um, which I hope I can raise uh, as we move forward. Instead, I recommend the assembly hand over the responsibility for finalizing the remaining tasks to the appropriate offices of the commission. Or those handling the task be given more time, maybe so that we can review everything by July. The management of that from now to that point could be handled by and directed by the Commission, where we can also keep making our input. Excellencies, it has been an honor to fulfill this mandate which I believe has made our organization stronger and more effective, even if there is still this uh, work to do. And I thank you for the trust placed in me during this journey. On domestic health financing, three achievements stand out. First, Regional health financing hubs became operational in the East African community and the Southern African development community. I commend Alda Nepad for leading this and uh, encourage the fast tracking of the remaining hubs. Second, I commend the government of Malawi for organizing the first national health financing dialogue and encourage 
other member states to follow suit. Third, good progress was made by the Commission on domesticating and digitizing the Health Financing Progress Tracker and the Africa Scorecard. Excellencies, investing more of our own resources and time in healthcare is essential for resilience against future pandemics, building pharmaceutical manufacturing in Africa with the private sector, and working with new partners such as the International Vaccine Institute. Earlier this week, I chaired the 40th session of the Outer Nepal Heads of State and Government Orientation Committee. I am pleased to report that His Excellency Abdel Fattah El Sisi, President of the Arab Republic of Egypt, was elected as the new chair. We congratulate him and wish him the best in this role. Representing Auda Nepad in international forums such as G20, I emphasized that Africa must not become a casualty of geopolitical tensions. What Africa wants and needs first is peace. The rise in food and fuel prices has affected Africa disproportionately. Food insecurity has in many places become a crisis. Accordingly, I believe that the proposal to make AGRA, AGRA, a specialized agency of the African Union deserves serious consideration by the assembly. The food security challenge also highlights the importance of fully implementing the African continental free trade area and the value of technology platforms such as AE Trade Group. I commend Nados Bekele Thomas and the entire AUDA staff for continuing to work closely with the member states, including the private sector, to implement Agenda 2063. Regrettably, a major hurdle is the significant decline in the voluntary contributions to outer NEPAD, which puts a severe strain on the overall budget and increases dependency on external partners. We surely can do much better on this. For outer NEPAD to fulfill its mandate, it must be funded in a predictable and sustainable manner in line with the ambitions that have been assigned to it. Excellencies, once again, I thank you for entrusting me with these mandates and for the cooperation and support I have enjoyed throughout this work. I thank you for your kind attention.